Heavy Mama of Four. So this is what the RV looks like with the slide closed. This is a 35 foot and we have a bunkhouse. We have a Highland Ridge Ultralight 2018. We absolutely love this RV. Even when I get a new one, hopefully in April, I will not sell this one. I love it. And we have taken such good care of it. I actually have my mobile RV repair guys. I have two different ones in two different parts of the state on speed dial. I know them. I know their family. I know their wife. They help me and I love it. And so this RV has been kept in tip top shape. So I'm not getting rid of it. Even if I get a new one, I just love it. But this is how much space we have um, to come in. It's actually a lot. Let me get it from this angle. So this is with it closed up. Some of the newer RVs closed up. You can't get in there to eat or use the bathroom or anything like that. We can do all that. So I can sit down, I can put my feet up. The kids do that quite often to stretch out when we're on a road trip. They can access the microwave in the oven. I can turn on the generator. I don't need the generator for the oven. I could literally just come in here and cook. It's based off of propane, so you don't need um, any power source. You literally just start up the oven. Uh, and then the microwave, you would have to hook up the generator, which we've done. I have literally um, hooked up my generator just to get coffee from this Keurig. And I don't actually move this Keurig when I drive. It stays put. I don't like to have to move a lot of things, so I don't. I also don't move this diffuser. I've had this trailer since 2018 and this stuff has never moved. I don't move this black bin or anything in it. And none of this has ever moved. Um, I use this called museum putty and you stick it on the bottom and it holds really well. So while you are in storage, you want to keep the refrigerator and freezer open. I keep it propped open with that nice trash can here. Um, but again, that's because you wanna prevent mold and mildew. And here you can see we can come during, you know, any roadside trip or if we just need a break and we can put this down, we can take a nap because the kids cannot access their bunkhouse during with the slides closed. That's literally the only place that we can't access. So if we want to use the bathroom, unless you're my 12 year old who literally will fit between here, I'm not even kidding. He does. It drives me crazy. I'm like, you're going to tear the molding off. We have to go outside and then come in the back entrance um, if we want to use the bathroom, but it's totally fine. The people that want drinks come in the front. The people that have to go to the bathroom go in the back. Um, I uh, oh, cannot fit back here. I am just checking to make sure there's no mice and we're good to go. Thank you, Jesus, because I am always paranoid that, you know, I'm going to find something crazy and everything looks pretty good back there. You're looking for little black um, rice. That's what it looks like, black rice. And I don't see any, so I can't get all the way back there, but the rest of the trailer looks good. And if there were mice, they'd probably be throughout. So we're safe yet again. And I can go on my RV trip and my dance competition trip to Arizona for my daughter with um, a sigh of relief that my RV is gonna be okay. So I would like to show you some of the things that you can use when you're not hooked up to power. I actually did a full test of this. My daughter was staying at a hotel for at a dance competition up in Westminster, Colorado. And I called ahead and asked if I could bring my RV and sleep in the parking lot. So I paid for a hotel room for her and I stayed in the RV in the parking lot. It was Mother's Day weekend and that's what I wanted to do. I would rather be in my RV than a hotel any day. And I really wanted to test for boondocking purposes what and how long I could go without electricity. So as you can see right now, your lights will work. Um, you don't need to be hooked up for that. And Let's see, I can get my water heater turned on. I can get my exterior lights turned on. Your water pump will work if I had water in there. My slides actually will completely go out without having any power and so will my awning. But it's not recommended because it drains your battery. Those are two things that you wanna really just have your truck still hooked up and just have your truck running. And then you can put out your slides and your awning just fine. But if you forget, I've forgotten a number of times and I just put it out and then I'm like, whoops. So before I take it back in, I'll make sure that it's hooked up to a power source like my truck that's running. The heat will also work. Now, I don't have the propane turned on, but the heat, and it's a little hard to get to from this angle because the slide's not going on. I mean, the slide's closed, but as you can see, it lights up and there's auto, uh, my heat, and there it goes, I just turned it back off. But that will work without having any hookups as well. And I was able to get two days of the heat pretty much running constantly without having to hook up. Ideally, you wanna run your heat all night and then charge it a couple hours or an hour, whatever you can get away with the next day on your generator or attached to your truck and then run it again the next night. But I didn't have that option, so I ended up just running it for two straight days and it worked fine. Your coffee pot will not work. Your coffee pot is electric. 
I don't know why I left that plugged in. Doesn't matter anyway when the red key's off. But your coffee pot will not work. I have been known to start my generator plenty of times just to get coffee. And that's a lot of work just to get coffee, but I do it because I love coffee. Your microwave will not work without power. You need to have some source of power for that. Now, this is good news. And sorry about the crooked picture, that's called traveling down the road. <laughs> but your stove will work. Oh, I don't have the propane on. Yeah, sorry. But the pro it will work. Your stove will light and you don't actually have to have anything else other than your propane turned on. And you will need the propane turned on out in the front of your trailer for your stove and for your heat and also for your refrigerator. Again, your refrigerator will run. It does not need anything other than your propane. So as soon as you turn your propane on up front, um, that will come on as well. So that gives you a little rundown of what you can do if you're boondocking and you have no source of power, if you're on the side of the road, if you're staying at a Walmart, um, those are all options. You can also use a coffee, you can brew or boil coffee over your stove or tea uh, without having power. So that's a great idea. You can buy the Via Instant Coffees by Starbucks or other brands, or they have little teapots or coffee pots that you can also use that run off of propane. Uh, because that's something you're going to want in the morning. And the, the coffee at the gas stations and the loves and all that where you're staying really isn't that great. So I always want my own. Anyway, I'm out of here. I got to go pick up my son from baseball. Just checking to make sure all the lights are turned off here in a minute. And we will be gone. Mm -hmm.